If someone told you you can grow $3,500 into $8,500 in nine years if you invest at a 7% annual compound interest rate, would you believe them? Well, this is what this problem is all about. Now, to solve this problem, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a formula and a calculator. So if you want to try to figure this out, go ahead and get your calculator and see if you can find the formula. Now, of course, I'll tell you what this formula is as we get into the problem. But first, I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this all on your own. Okay, so if you think you know the answer, put that into the comments section. Of course, I'm going to fully solve this in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, here is our problem. So the question is, can you grow $3,500 into $8,500 in nine years if you invest at a 7% annual compound interest rate? Okay, so let's learn a few things about compound interest right now. So here is our problem. And as usual, with any math word problem, you always want to read it at least three times. Like you got to understand really what the problem's asking uh, before you make any moves. But here, okay, if we don't understand annual compound interest, we won't even understand the problem. And when it comes to compound interest and, and uh, interest problems in general, there's all different uh, sorts of interest um, uh, models that you can follow. You could have simple interest, okay, which uh, uh, there's a particular formula for. You could have annual compound interest, this type of thing right here. Let's just kind of abbreviate this, annual compound interest. This has a particular formula. Then you can have something called continuous compound interest, which uses another formula. Okay, so you got to be able to identify what formula they're going to be using. So I'm going to show you the formula for annual compound interest right now. We'll uh, make sure you understand it, and then we'll apply this formula to solve this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about compound interest. So this is your basic compound interest formula. Now, uh, we're talking about annual compound interest. In other words, at the end of one year, you're going to get paid your interest. Okay, and hopefully we understand the concept of interest, right? You put in a principal amount into some sort of vehicle. It stays there and uh, However, your interest is accumulating. You can have simple interest or compound interest. At the end of one year, you get paid. But that's not the only way you can get uh, paid your interest uh, when something is compounding. You can have things compound quarterly, biannually. There's all different sorts of rates. But we're going to keep it kind of simple with this particular problem. And I'm only saying this because uh, this is not the only formula that you may uh, need to understand, especially for those of you that might be taking like a second year algebra course or some sort of financial math, you'll need to know other formulas as well. But this is our basic general compound interest formula. All right, so let's go and see how it works. So we invest a principal amount, right? You go to the bank and you're like, hey, I wanna make some money on my money. I'm gonna plug in some money or put in some money into my financial institution, whatever that might be. That money that you put in, okay, that you saved up and you're going to invest, that's called the principal, okay? Now, the money you hope to earn, your total amount that you're going to get out is this uh, variable A, okay? That's the total amount you're going to earn. So this is going to be your principal plus the interest you make. All right, so the formula is A equals P times, this is a parenthesis right here. Let me go ahead and just uh, remove this stuff. So it's A equals P parentheses one plus R. Now R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal. Now because we're talking about annual compound interest, uh, T up here, okay, of course notice this is in the exponent, so this, i.e. this is an exponential function, this is the time in years. So, you know, of course, I could have made this problem a lot more interesting. I could have said, uh, can we grow this money in uh, nine years and three months? You know, we're not going to do that We're going because uh, there's enough kind of going on here. But this is the basic compound interest formula that you need to understand. 
All right, so if you're saying, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I got it, let's go ahead and use this to figure this problem out. Well, I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here is our formula. And now we're gonna to have to match up uh, the information in the problem to, okay, what's the principal, what's the total, what's our interest rate, and what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for time in years, okay? How many, um, how long is it gonna take? Now, we would like to see, okay, we hope, let's, matter of fact, let me show it to you this way. We would hope that we could grow this uh, $3,500 into $8,500 in nine years at this particular interest rate. We just don't know that yet, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and actually see how long, okay, uh, using compound interest, it's going to take us to grow this amount of money into this amount of money. It may not be nine years. It could very well be longer. So, uh, you know, really I can kind of rephrase the problem. How long will it take to grow $3,500 into $8,500 at a 7% annual compound interest rate? So our variables here, our principal amount is $3,500. Our interest rate is 7%. Our total amount here is $8,500 and we're looking for T or how long, what is the time in years. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in all this lovely information into our uh, formula. So again, our total amount 8,500, our principal 3,500 are our interest rate, but we have to express our interest rate as a decimal. So this is 7%. And 7% uh, as a decimal is 0 0.07. So we have to use 0 0.07, not 7%. This is a, a real kind of classic mistake uh, that a lot of students uh, uh, make, okay? And then, of course, time in years uh, will be what we're going to be solving for. We don't know what uh, that time is to make this true. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in all the information here. So we have... Our amount, 8,500, is equal to our principal, 3,500 uh, times 1 plus the interest rate, 7% as a decimal, 0 0.07. We are solving for the variable T. All right, so now we're down to 8,500 is equal to 3,500 times 1.07 to the T power. We need to solve for this variable in the exponent. Here we have an exponential equation. How do we solve these exponential equations? Well, you're definitely going to need your calculator. And if you're looking at this, you're like, oh boy, I don't even like this problem because there's too many things going on. But uh, anyways, listen, don't panic. I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve this. And this is really important to know how to solve, especially again, if you are taking any sort of algebra course. Okay, now, if you didn't understand the setup, but you wanna go ahead and try to solve this problem, well, maybe you wanna pause the video and work on this. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you, well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description, but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. All right, so we got 8,500 is equal to 3,500 times 1.07t. We need to solve for this variable t. We're solving an exponential equation. Okay, so an exponential equation uh, because the variable is in the exponent spot. Remember, if you have a power like two to the third power, this little number up here is the exponent, two is the base, the entire thing is the power. Now, if you need addition, if you really need help with this, and you're not confused with this math, check out my Algebra 2 course, uh, or my pre-calculus course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. That will definitely help you out. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel as well. But what we need to recognize is this. When you have an exponential uh, equation, okay, exponential equation, we need to use logarithms, okay? And if you have a logarithmic equation, we need to use exponents because exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverses of one another, okay? This is a very, very important uh, uh, concept. And of course, I don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be and get into a full explanation of logarithms, but this is stuff that you absolutely need to know. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we need to isolate this uh, 
base or this um, power part of the problem, and we want to have a power or an exponent rather, like 2 to the x is equal to just some number. Okay, so right here we have this 3500 in front of this uh, 1.07 to the t power. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 3500. And when we do that, we're going to get 2.428. Now I did round off a bit here. Uh, so that will um, have an impact on our final answer. So one uh, 2.428, this really should be approximately, but I'll just leave it equal uh, for the purposes of this video. So 8,500 divided by 3,500, 2.428 is equal to 3,500 divided by 3,500 is 1. So now we have uh, 1.07 to the t power. Okay, so now we need to solve for t, and this is where we get to use logarithms, which are, of course, so much fun. And if you're not familiar with logarithms, if you look on your calculator and you see that LOG button, well, that's what uh, logarithms are about. Extremely important stuff in math. But what we want to do here is now take the log of both sides. Okay, the logarithm of both sides. And here we have the log of 2.428. Uh, now, you could just go into your calculator. You'll see that this right here is just a simple decimal. It gets a value, but don't do anything yet. Don't turn this into a de uh, decimal. But the real uh, key to solve this problem, we're going to take the log of both sides, is we have this t up in the exponent. Well, we have a property of logarithms that says that if we have something written like this, we could take this t and write it and put it right in front of that log expression. So we're going to drop this uh, exponent down in front of the log. This is really the secret here. Okay. So now I have a number. Remember, this is just a decimal. Uh, is equal to t times another decimal. Of course, this is log 1.07, but this is just a number. Okay, so effectively, this problem is very much like 2 is equal to uh, t times 3 or something, right? This is just a number. It's a basic algebraic equation. So to solve for t, all I have to do is divide uh, 3 uh, by both sides of the equation. In this case, uh, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by this number here. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you that work right now. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by log 1.07. And you would want to write your work just like this. Okay, don't do anything on your calculator until you get down to this step. Okay, and then break out your calculator and go log 2.428 divided by log 1. Uh, you know, we put this in parentheses, 1.07. And we'll get a decimal or get a number about 13.11. Okay, that's what t is equal to. And remember, this is time in years. So that's how long it's going to take to grow this uh, uh, $3,500 into $8,500. It's going to take about 13 years, a little bit over 13 years. So, of course, that is longer than nine years. All right. So as I indicated, there was a lot going on in this uh, problem. And uh, don't feel bad if you didn't, you know, uh, get this right or if you're like, I didn't even uh, learn this stuff, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, I totally get it. Now, if you are interested in growing your math skills, just like this investment, right, uh, I have a great course. You might be interested in it. It's called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. It start, you'll find a link to it in the description below. But I start off by teaching you basic math, basic arithmetic. That's really important to get that foundation down. Then I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some basic probability and statistics. So if you want to kind of understand um, you know, math at this level, check out that Math Skills Rebuilder course. That's a great uh, course. It's a self-paced uh, course as well. But uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.